This patient is receiving chelation therapy, which has been used for decades, but almost exclusively in alternative medical practices. Chelation involves multiple intravenous infusions with a combination of vitamins and chemicals, including EDTA, which acts as a binding agent. It'll bind some things that are necessary in our body, like calcium, but it will also allow the kidneys to excrete other things that are absolutely shouldn't be in the body, like lead or cadmium or arsenic or a whole series of other heavy metals. The infusion also contains a large amount of vitamin C. Vitamin C is an antioxidant. It keeps um, different important molecules in the body potentially from being damaged. Dr. Hervasio Lamas from Mount Sinai Medical Center in Miami, Florida, and co-authors conducted a multi-center randomized controlled trial of more than 1,700 patients. Participants had stable but serious coronary disease and had had a prior heart attack. They were mostly white men. Their average age was 65, and most were either overweight or obese. Patients were randomized to receive 40 infusions of a chelation solution or a placebo infusion. A regimen of EDTA-based chelation therapy modestly reduced the risk of adverse cardiovascular events over a follow-up period of over four years. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. In the placebo group, 30% uh, of patients had one of these cardiovascular events that included death, heart attack, revascularization, uh, stroke, or hospitalization for angina or chest pains. 26% of the chelation group had an event. The single event occurring most often was coronary artery revascularization procedures, but those were still slightly lower in the chelation group. These results provide the strongest evidence to spur additional research. They do not, at this point, provide sufficient evidence for the routine use of chelation therapy for patients who've had a heart attack. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.